All right, everyone. Welcome. This is Linux Guru Gamer. Welcome to my Sunday night stream. Tonight, after several weeks of preparation, we will hopefully be able to go rescue Burberry Kerman using a, uh, a rocket which will be launched in two parts. The first part will be the main engines and fuel tanks, and the second part will consist of both a refueler and the crew cabins for the actual mission itself. All right. It's going to take a little while to finish loading, so if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask. You can ask questions about almost everything. I do ask that you keep this as a family-friendly stream. No bad language. Um, I do use Nightbot. So if you wish to post a link, just ask for permission. Um, when you do ask, I would like to uh, give, give me a hint as to what it is you are going to post. All right. Like, for example, permission to post a link uh, from Imgur or, or whatever. You know, something like that. So these pictures you're seeing here, a lot of them are my earlier attempts at, try, at uh, um, R&D, trying to come up with a vessel to actually... Um, do the rescue um, and it's taken a lot of work and I think at this point we're ready to go all right so let's just get on in there background for those of you who don't know um, Burberry Kerman somehow I have no idea how, decided to get lost in space, but not just in any way. There he is. So normally I would say, okay, you know, going to rescue someone in a solar orbit isn't that big of a deal. It's fairly simple. He's, he's between us and uh, Eve, all right? Um, the problem is that um, we're in a solar orbit which is moving around like this at about 9,000 meters per second. And unfortunately, he is in a solar orbit going this way at about 9,000, actually about 10,000 meters per second. Okay? Which gives us a difference of 19,000 meters per second. Okay? Now, a lot of people have actually done the rescue but they usually, in almost all cases, I believe, they do it by going for out here in order, to, in order to either use a gravity assist from, um, from not Duna, from Joule, or they go we really far out in order to be able to reverse the direction of their orbit without using a lot of delta V. The problem with all of these is that it takes a lot of time. Okay? And, um, well, I've enhance the challenge for myself by saying, okay, um, life support is involved. People will die, i.e. Kerbals will die if we don't rescue him in a timely fashion. I did, I did, however, decide to use deep freeze. So right now, Burberry is frozen. And so he's not really using that much life support, but he does, he does need electricity to keep himself going. And our crew cabin includes a deep freezer. And I just have to make sure when I do the launch that nobody sneaks on board. Because if, if everyone sneaks on board, I won't have room to do the rescue. So yeah, this is insanity. The vessel I've come up with, however, will have a total delta V of greater than 40 to 44,000 del uh, delta uh, meters per second. And with that, let us go and do the first launch of the main main uh, vessel. Okay. Now, I used to think that people who needed to 
make these really huge vessels which exceeded the size of the VAB were kind of pushing it. Well, and guess what? Um, I actually almost fit. I mean, actually, if I turned 90 degrees, it would just barely fit, but then it wouldn't be able to get out. So I actually am using the, um, the uh, what's, whatever it's called, uh, the mod which basically gives you uh, an infinite, you know, gets rid of the VAB, you can just build out in the open. Um, and actually, as of these, oh, I'm getting raided. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Who's coming in? Raiders of the Lost Aries. Wow. Hello, everybody. Hello, Damsk. Um, Aries raid. Well, you, you guys made it just in time for the beginning of, of, of the missions. Um, this is the Burberry Kerman Rescue Night. And uh, I was just getting ready to do the launch. I'm talking about how I use the uh, this mod, which basically gets rid of the VAB because it's just my, my vessels are just too big. So this is the first vessel, which is be get rid of that. That was there just so I can I can ha I had a reference as to where things were. Okay. Um, Yep. Okay. Just making sure that I think I'm going to do one one minor change to this. Just that. Okay. Sorry about this. That. Um, uh, that's about 12. Ooh. Liquid fuel and oxidizer. Liquid fuel. Oh, they both use liquid fuel and oxidizer. Ooh. The problem with those is that the vessel isn't going to have any oxidizer. Let me just check to make sure what I have on the... Don't save that. Yep, with life support. And this is from someone who rarely plays with life support. So, let's see what we got. But some people would say I'm cheating. I'm using the deep freeze mod, so the life support isn't that bad. Uh, there it is. Okay, I am using the space Y ones. Um, okay, so I don't need that. So I have those. Those should be more than enough. All right. So let me just let, let me get that other one back up. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, Jade. But I'll give it to you right now. All right. So let's just go ahead and do the launch. The, the um, Zebo. It's called Deep Freeze. Uh, now everything here. And I do mean everything, with the exception of one small mod, which w w was isn't even available, is installed by CCAN. Okay. Um, let me see what you got, Jade. Ooh, nice. I'm gonna hang on to that. I might want to use it as a background. Um, so the the deep freeze mod. Uh, the freezer is in the next ship, Zebo. This is just the um, the main body of the vessel. 
I mean, you see that there's a lot. What you got the solids. These boosters here will all go away. What's going to end up in orbit is the central core and these these two big ta uh, ten meter tanks. And with that, let's get going. Okay, S S N guidance three hundred zero. Okay, force roll. Stage. I think that's it. Okay. And let me see if I got my sounds here. Okay. Booster. Go. Retro. Go. Vital. We go fly. Guidance. Guidance go. Surgeon. Go flight. Ecom. We're go flight. GNC. We're go. Tell me. Go. Control. Go flight. Surgeon. Go flight. Ecom. Procedures. Go. Inco. Go. FAO. We are go. Network. Go. Recovery. Go. Capcom. We're go flight. Launch control. This is Houston. We are go for launch. Three, two, one. And we are go. We have cleared the tower. We're up and up and moving. Damsk is hearing zombies. Okay. <laughs> We've hit 1,000 meters in altitude, 150 meters per second, all systems are go and we're doing well. Got me a little concerned that damn I thought maybe the apocalypse had actually started. All right, we have reached solid boosted jettison. They have jettisoned. Clean separation. Continuing to go, we're at 12,000 meters high, 500 meters per second. So far, so good. This is what I like seeing, where the thrust trail is a little bit angled below. Instead of if it was going like that, then we'd be in trouble. But by going, but this is showing me that that we're turning and we're doing very nicely indeed. Wizard, I've had a number of. I've been working on this for three, four weeks now. And um, it's taken quite a bit in order to get it working properly. But it does take off nicely. 
If there is interest, I will upload it to uh, Kerbalix later on. Both of them, actually. Twenty-six kilometers high, eight hundred seventy meters per second. All systems go, everything burning smoothly. <laughs> Getting a little bit of atmospheric heating, but at this altitude, it's nothing to worry about. Continuing to rotate. Now we've, got, we've gotten the altitude we wanted. Uh, we're going to rotate and try and grab some more horizontal velocity in order to make it orbital speed and start letting things work for us instead of work against us. Getting a little bit of hunting by Metro, nothing to worry about. And while I'm okay. Okay, solid boosters are done, and now on the nuclear engines. These are using the light bulb nuclear engine, which comes from the old atomic age mod, and um, it's something which I'm in the middle of uh, working and reviving. And there's more hunting going on than, than I would like. It's okay, it's settling down. Our AP is at 132. Periopsis is still negative, but it's getting up there. Thank you, and Mage, to appreciate it. Was it three, four weeks ago? I think I spent an entire evening and I never got above 30 kilometers. You can probably see that on YouTube. I'm pretty sure I uploaded it. So we've finally gotten to the point where we're starting to accelerate again, very slowly. Uh, nuclear engines are notorious for not having a lot of thrust, but they will thrust for a long time. Well, let me rephrase that. They actually have decent thrust, but given how big this vessel is, it's going to take a while. Just take a look at the ship's health. Everything looks good. 
Now, that's the, the light bulb, which consists of two, three, four, seven individual bulbs, nozzles. Currently, the, um, the mod is a little bit broken in that the gimbaling, um, uh, uh, visually at least, is not working. And I want, I want to see if I can get that fixed before I release it. Notice that the AP is, is going up. We are our time to the AP is about two minutes. But in two minutes we will have reached open speed. It's actually more than two minutes. Um, it's two minutes that we stop thrusting. I would have to when we um, mate. I will. I think it's going to show it here. Now, um, yeah, the, the specific impulse is 1500. Let me, um, when I get into to do the next launch, I'll pull them up on the uh, in, in the uh, um, editor and show you. Well, will open the speed is currently 1974. Periapsis is only minus 90 now, so we are getting very close to being orbit. Into the dark side of the, of the planet. Going for a 300 kilometer orbit. All right, our periapsis just went positive. AP has stabilized. The 1 minute 13.4 snap just went up. It's going up. We have high enough to be considered to be in orbit by the swing shift. and circularizing, circularizing. Well, let me see if I can look that up while, while we're waiting. It's going to take a couple of minutes for this to actually get there. So, show you the whole thing once we get into when we're ready to do the next launch. I have to add one part to the um, uh, to 
to the cook compartment before the table. We have reached an AP, the targeted AP, and now MechJab will position, rotate and position it, and then we will, and then it'll do a little bit of time warping to get there. Once we get up there, it's a 95 meter per second uh, burn, but because of the engine, it's actually going to take 59 seconds to do it. So what's rotating it now is is a there's a quite there's a number of reaction wheels. Let me see if I can find planet sign. Uh, There we go. I always get annoyed when I watch streamers and they don't adjust the light so we can see it. Kan Kanichiwa. Welcome to the stream and welcome to uh, to uh, Kerbal Space Program. Um, can, is there someone who's willing to do a little typing and to give them an idea? Uh, that I, wa I want to pay attention to this. Well, let's see. The Mun Minmus. Okay. First thing you want to do is to get out to the orbit. Okay. And um, okay, let's. I want to wait until this finishes. I don't want to mess this up. Oh, that's okay. It's 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 always good for someone to learn. And frankly, I don't do planes that much, so. So while we're doing that, okay. Generally, both the Minmus and, and, and the Mud. When you get into a low orbit around Earth, uh, uh, curve it, and then when you when you like about here, where you're just seeing minus the moon come over the horizon, that's when you want that, that that's an approximate place to start putting a maneuver node. Okay, and because that's because when at that point when you actually get out to the that orbit, you will be very close to where it is. You'll have to adjust a little bit. spacecraft Turn down some more how's that is that is that any better so so Kanochua, it's very similar you just have to make sure that minmus has is angled so just getting out there isn't enough you're gonna have to do an inclination change as well okay 
All right, so we have now made it. All right, MechJab is trying to be very, very finicky, and I think that with a difference of 600 meters between periopsis and AP, I'm going to call it done. All right, so now I want to make sure we are normal. Just because I tend to find that, uh, for me at least, either normal or with, with one being normal and the other being anti-normal, docking is easier. So I'm going to wait until we get there. And at that point, I will jump back to the VAB and we will work on the second one. And I will, at that point, I will also pull up the engine, and you can take a look at the full specs. I was looking for something which would um, would be more powerful than, than the standard uh, nuclear engines in the game, but I didn't want them to be overpowered. overpowered. Um, these seem to fit the build nicely. He actually has several, I think, three different nuclear engines in the mod. Um, so, uh, along with a couple of other things. So one thing I didn't bother putting on here was radiators. Okay, but what I, what I found is that um, the ship itself seems to be radiating enough heat. Could be a mistake, but for now it, it seems to be working. All right, so we are there. some guidance away. All right, so now let's head back Space Center. Now I am going to be doing F5s and I am going to be, I am allowing myself to do reverts and for this particular game. Uh, the uh, career game I don't. All right, so now I'm sorry about the engine noise. Um, I thought I had already turned it down. All right, so it's no nope. engines. There's the light bulb. Okay, so it, it has a thrust of 255 at sea level, 450 kilonewtons in space. The ISP is 850 to 1500. It uses liquid fuel only. Vectoring range is 7 degrees. Uh, like I said, the visual effect of the vectoring isn't working properly. Okay, that's something which um, I need to, uh, I'm going to be working on before I release it as a mod. Uh, and of course, this decided to be smack in the middle. Okay, so it's, I'm going to read it. The closed cycle gas core design overcomes the limits of solid core NTRs by deliberately letting the reactor melt and vaporize, reaching much higher core temperatures and exhaust velocities, which grants this rocket an enormous ISP of 1500. No radioactive material leaves the engine, though. The vaporized nuclear hellfire is safely confined within seven astonishingly fragile transparent quartz bulbs which lets most of the thermal radiation through to the propellant and are the reason for its lovely name. A sophisticated system of active cooling and a steady vortex stream of inert gas around the fissioning nuclear plasma that keeps it from touching the walls prevent the quartz bulbs from spontaneously vaporizing. Actually, yes, it does sound kind of scary, but as with everything in life, the coolness of things is proportional to their danger. Waste heat rating 2000. Okay. Um. Do that down there for now. So, so let's go ahead. Hello, what happened to you? Oh. 
All right, so now let's load this. You're welcome, Nate. All right, so our first one's in orbit. Let's get the crew compartment and the refueler. Okay, so there we are. The one part I need to add. Um, who someone had wanted to know about that the the freezer the freezer is right here okay of course you can't see it and let me do this or let me um, fairing open okay um, that's the mark 2 command pod got some mono propellant this is the 10 meter heat shield just in case I come in too fast I also have a regular heat shield here. So if I'm coming in at a normal speed, I'm just going to jettison the 10 meter heat shield because it's going to be too unstable. I got giganto solar arrays. This is the freezer. Okay. And you can see the door there. And there's another hatch there. All right. So, oops. looking for a specific spot on here. There we go. That's better. It's the KAL 9000. Make a little bit of have a little bit of fun here. Basically, it's a command uh, module, but it's an old mod by someone called Ignoble, and I happen to always like it. Uh, and I'm going to be putting it out again, um, updated for 1.3. All right, so we shall save that. And at this point, it does not do anything other than be a command thing. I am going to be incorporating some sounds into it and possibly some actions before I do a full release. Okay, let me uh, save that. All right, so now, ah, need to make sure about the crew. We don't want Bob, we don't want Bill, all we want is either Jeb or Valencia. All right, votes. Who, who should do the piloting, Jeb or Valencia? Anybody have any preferences? I got two for Val, none for Jeb. Got one for Jeb, two for Val. Come on, let's make this like an auction. Jeb <laughs> dies <laughs> off. Two Val, one Jeb. Three Val, one Jeb. I think Val got it. All right. So, let's get her on the launch pad. Oops, we got three Val, two Jeb. One new, no, we're not doing a new pilot. No, 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 not for this. <laughs> going once, going twice, and after I say going three times, you got 30 seconds to get it in because I know about the delay. Going three times, and the 30 seconds start now.
Ten seconds to go. <laughs> Sorry, this losing. You already voted. It's Val. And here she goes. Eight seconds? Oh. Um, and actually, you're right. It's, it's better for me now since I became uh, an affiliate. Speaking of which, I'm affiliated now. So if you want, you can subscribe to me. You can send bits or whatever those things are. As Nate Caper just did, he sent me one bit. Thank you, Nate. All right. So now we are on the launch pad, and we cannot take off yet. Now this is going to be interesting because. It actually took almost three quarters of an orbit, or two thirds of an orbit, to get that to get the the first up, one up up there. Which means that uh, well, this one is definitely going to accelerate faster. Okay, we do not have uh, this is all liquid. It's not uh, not the nukes. It's still going to be a little slow accelerating. So this is kind of a I have not practiced this. It would be nice, Nate, yes. But, you know, frankly, I'm not doing this for the money. It, it certainly would help. And I simply just wanted to mention it. But that being the case. All right. So given this, I think that when the rest, when the main body is up here, I'll do the launch. I'll aim for 295 uh, kilometers. Um, which I can always adjust once I get there. Okay. Oh, and Nate, I didn't mean to disparage the one bit. It was, it's actually, uh, congratulations, the very first bit that I received. So, everyone give Nate a cheer because he actually gave me the first bit. Although I do have one subscriber. All right, so um, this this is kind of guesswork, but I have not done this particular part of the mission practice yet. But it looks like we're taking off in the dark, and okay. so next job. Uh, send guidance. We're going for 295. Okay, everything else being the same. And. Booster. Go. Retro. Go. Vital. We go fly. Guidance. Guidance go. Surgeon. Go fly. Ecom. We're go fly. GNC. We're go. Tell me. Go. Control. Go fly. Procedures. Go. Inco. Go. FAO. We are go. Network. Go. Recovery. Go. Capcom. We're go fly. Launch control. This is Houston. We are go for launch. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower you think the sounds work well? We have liftoff. We have reached 3,000 meters at 290 meters per second. We are throttling down to avoid as we approach max Q.
Actually, Jade, um, I lived through Apollo. And, uh, it, it, this, this is fun, but Apollo was real. Anyway, we just had our uh, boost, uh, uh, solid boost to separation. We've accelerated, uh, increased throttle back to full throttle, and we are continuing to accelerate. All systems are go. Melent Val is having fun. Currently on track. Speaking of which, you know, there is um, down in Houston, the old launch control center for uh, for the Apollo is actually um, still there. Uh, and there is a nonprofit group which is seeking um, some money in order to try and restore it. This is something I read about the other day. So it's pretty fascinating that it actually is there. Anyway, we have reached 40, 40 kilometers, speed of 1400. Notice we're accelerating a lot faster than the previous rocket. Um, Booster separation, that was nice. And what you're seeing now is the actual, this is what's going to be getting up there to do the, the rendezvous and the refueling and the crew compartment. We've reached, so we've reached out of space. Let us jettison the, the, the fairing. No need for that anymore. I will not deploy the Gigantors until after we have done the final docking. Speed of 2,000 meters per second. I have not yet reached orbital, but we will be doing that soon. Hundred kilometers high, approaching the target AP. Oops, I didn't want that. Disabled. 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 Plenty of time to get to the um, get aligned. Pilot has gotten us pointing in the right direction. And it deployed my Gigantors. I forgot about that. Alright, let's retract all solar. I just don't want them open during the docking maneuvers. And I have plenty. 14,000 yeah, electric charge, not already. a problem. Yeah, Yep. The 20-second burn for 300 meter per second. Big difference from the Atomics, which was a 60-second burn for 90 meters per second. So it's going to be a long burn when we're ready to actually get out and go do the rescue. Now this vessel, I put verniers all over the place, so it's highly maneuverable.
Okay, so it turns out I'm a little, I, I'm more than, I'm, I'm significantly ahead, so I'll have to raise my orbit. Okay. Go grade. So I want what I want to do then is raise the orbit to make it 310. So, Jed, I want to rendezvous Anna. A while since I've used this. Nope, not that. I'm not sure about this because MechJab 10 sometimes does things in a little funny way. I think I'll pass on this for now. Alright, so what I will do, however, is um, maneuver planner. I will, I will just do a circularization uh, at next AP, create and execute. Still doing a little hunting. Let's retract the solar before I do the docking. All right, so we've now circularized. Okay, so now just have to wait a little bit. I just realized I didn't put any antennas on these guys. Hopefully that won't be a problem. So it looks like that's going to be pretty darn close. Separation 14 kilometers. All right, so let's try to over here then. Add a maneuver.
Nope, that's no good. I'm going to do a save and engage the autopilot. I know that there are some people who would have been able to do the launch and immediately do the rendezvous. I'm not that good. But this is fun also. Cycle. We're going to actually meet it over there. Great. There it is. Okay, looks like we'll be intercepting and rendezvousing in a couple of minutes. So the guy who made this um, stream, his name is uh, Physics Student, uh, was planning on trying to watch, but he sent me a message saying that it was he was too tired because for him it's two in the morning now. So. Definitely recording this and I'll upload it and I hope that he gets to watch it because it's really been quite fun doing this. Is hoping that Mechtrap doesn't screw this up. 
looks like it is. Mech jab. Bye. I can't believe it just did that. What I think may have happened is that it was, ex it was expected to be able to turn faster. That's why I turned the RCS back on. Approaching the target at 11 meters per second. Close enough that I am nervous about my solar panels. We'll do that. Two second burn in about four, three, two, there we go. And we are now, we have rendezvoused. Okay. Great. It's being a little finicky. That's okay. I'm gonna let it do its thing and then. trying to get within 100 meters. Okay, let's hope it doesn't hit. Okay. And I'm going to call that. Done. Well, you know, it's silly me. Uh, I've got, I didn't turn it off. Disengage. Off. There we go. Okay. Great. Um, All right, so now, switch there for a moment. What I didn't do before was this. Decoupled node. Okay, should have done that before. Oh, yeah. 
Hello. Why am I not switching? Hello, why can't I do this? It's not working right. Oh. Duh. Alright. So now... Where are we? There we are. Close enough. Alright. So what I'm going to do now... I'm going to undock here. Okay. And I'm going to put this move these guys away a little bit. No, it wasn't a name camera glitch. It was I I'd used the mod to focus onto a specific part, and it was staying there. I didn't I had undone that. So okay, we want to uh, a close hatch, decouple node. Okay. Oops. Okay. Enable. 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 Make sure that we're out of the way. All right. Okay. Now this. This is going to have to dock with that. And to do this, I now need to enable these guys. Job on uh, docking autopilot. I need to do the target the dock with, which is there. Why can't I select as a target? There we go. That's docking port, name cam. Is it too far away? Nope, it's not very, very yet.
Oops. This is the hardest thing for me. I am not good at orbital, orbital maneuvers in the docking. Okay, so why can't I do this now? I'm hoping it's just not working because I'm too far away, too far away. See, this one I, I can set as a dock because we're only 200 meters. This one we're 400 meters away. So we'll see. Oops. So does anybody know if MechJub has a problem docking with um, you know, picking a target if it's too far away? So I was afraid of. I wanted to use mech jab and it just didn't want to work for me. only 200 meters away. Maybe this will do work now. If MechJob can't do this, then I can't do the docking myself. Doesn't want to, it doesn't want to can aim the camera I can rename the port but it doesn't want to use it as a target oh god this is annoying because this ruins the mission 
It is a docking port. Aim camera, reset camera, rename port. This puts the whole mission in total jeopardy. I guess I'm going to have to go figure out why these things can't dock together. I tested this. I tested this. I didn't test that, but... I mean, the thing is that it's... It's the right kind of docking port. You got the... Oops. Yeah. It's not upside down. Which is something I, I was warned about. And let me do this. Let me go back to the Space Center and come back here. Maybe that maybe it's a glitch. They're both I'm trying that's that's a good idea, Neil. I feel let me go back to the Space Center and come back, see if that helps. that. Great. And we're going to have to do that. We're that far away, huh? So not not going to do that. As you said, let me try targeting something else. Now we're too far away. Two kilometers away. Because it was able to do this before, so I'm going to do a revert. And we'll try this again. kilometers. Alright, this is before I did the uh, the rendezvous. So, rendezvous autopilot. Uh, let's call this 300 meters so we don't have to worry about it. Okay. And engage. Oh really? Maybe that's why it was because I'm I'm not doing anything which would um, change the auto docking distance. What's going on?
lost everything. Okay. There we go. What was very interesting, Black Knight, is that I was able to target the other one, which I had undocked from, but uh, and it was about 200 meters away. But uh, you know, we'll see. Okay.
think I'm going to call it quits here. And target um, velocity. And it's going to match, match velocities right now. Stop that off. All right, so, okay, so that was normal. So let's go normal. We're facing the same direction. Okay. All right, so let's try this again. Actually, let's do this. Do another quick save. Oh. Okay, didn't mean to overdo the overwrite that quick save, but alright. Um It's going to take a little while to switch over to anti-normal. Turn this AS off. Ah, come on. I hyper read, uh, I hyper, I warped when I didn't want to warp. So this guy doesn't have any RCS. Didn't anticipate having to swap directions. Okay. SAS off, switch, watch it here. And smart ass target. doing this, we can decouple the node, that go bye bye. I wish I could have both of them controlled by SAS at the same time, but I can't.
got this there and we'll come back here and we'll back it up and hopefully it'll work this time because we're certainly close enough now you can see the um, the engines trying to gimbal a little bit but it just they only go in one direction so Okay. That'll do. Stability assist. Okay. Okay. Go there. Now. All right. So first thing I want to do is decouple. Which one am I controlling? Whoops, nope, not that. Okay. So I need to quickly get these going. Control from here. A and set as target. Bingo. Rendezvous. Not rendezvous. Docking. Docking autopilot. Autopilot enabled. There we go. All right. So Black Knight, thank you very much. It's actually seems to be a little bit more. The other thing I forgot to do was the tar was the control from here. And that may have been the real issue. But in the meantime, let's just enjoy the docking. Unfortunately, I cannot hyper edit right now because that'll kill MechJet. You know, Jade, I saw. I just saw your comment about um, uh, what you call it, the, the speed matching burn. Um, I assume you're talking about uh, the launch, or are you talking about um, actually you know, doing the orbital maneuver? So you can see on this rocket, I have lots of verniers all over the place. And you can see you can see how some of them are working now. Well, this is the this this is the um, from Space Y, I believe. Um, and and we are approaching docking. I wish I could rotate this. All right. Looks like only a few meters to go.
Very close, almost there. Just about. And we have ducked. Yay! All right. So now, there's actually going to be two more dockings. Okay. Now that I got this F5 for safety. Um, so first, I'm going to dump all the fuel from here into here. Okay. And let's see. I, I loaded... I installed TAC fuel balance, so let me see if I can find it. Um, okay, yes. I, camera tools, oh, Chatterer. You know, I never turned on Chatterer. Very annoying. I want Chatterer running. No, well, not now. Um, gravity turn. That's no. Planet shine, slingshot, that's safe. Deactivated, camera. Um, here it is, attack fuel balancer. I wish mods would support both toolbars. Never mind, we'll do this the hard way. Okay. So, that liquid fuel, liquid fuel in. Okay. Great. That and that in. That, that, and okay, that, that, and oops, wrong way off, and So that's empty, and that's empty, and that's empty, and that's empty. Great. Okay, so that's full. No, it's, it's not full. That's full. Okay. That. That.
That's empty. That's empty. That's empty. And that's empty. Oh, it's not empty. That's empty. That's empty. That's empty. That's empty. Okay, so the boosters, the side boosters are all done. So now we can go at the, at the main. That still has liquid. And that's, oh, that also has liquid. Oof, that has oxidizer also, yuck. That was supposed to be pure liquid. All right. So right now I'm just mainly concerned with getting all the, oops, not that, all the fuel out of this guy before I jettison it, all right, as much as possible. Once I've done that, then this will undock, and then I'll dock the command module with this again in order to re make sure that I get full of monoprop. And then I'll undock and do the final docking over here. So, looks like everything is, all the fuel is empty now. All I have left is oxidizer. Right? Yeah. Okay. So the one mistake I made so far, was that this stage was supposed to be all liquid. I forgot to change that back. It's not going to be critical, I think. I just want to make sure that everything is empty here. All right. So it looks like we're doing good. Make sure we are... Whoops, don't do RCS. No, 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 that's silly. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Please, 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 please. Just stabilize now. Whoops. Silly me. All right. All right, so now let's go ahead and... Once it's stabilized, my mistake there, I've turned on um, RCS, and the RCS is only over here, so of course it, it wiggles like a you-know-what. But anyway, we're all done now. So now we just do the undock here. Undock. Okay, and now here we have to turn RCS back on. So right now, all these verniers aren't working anymore because there's no there's no oxidizer, and they require liquid and oxidizer. But what I think I can do now is let's see if I can do this right. Yeah. Okay. 
Just trying to get a little bit away from here without. Oops. There we go. Like that. Got plenty of monoprop on here. Okay. to do this control from here. Okay. And where is it? Whoops. Am I that far away? Oh, I'm not. That debris was the nose cone. Set this target and autopilot enabled. Enabled, 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 enabled. enabled. Oops. What? 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 Stop! 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 What happened? Target is not. Oh, let's see what happens. It's getting closer. Probably just a little too far away. So now we're going to dock over here. Make sure that all the monoprop, because we got plenty, of mi we have lots of monoprop to carry. Enough to do the docking, but if I'm going to go away that far away, I want to have full tanks. It has actually been a long time since I've used MechJab for docking, so I had forgotten that I had you had to control from here in order to do it. Anyway. I see my view account has dropped a little bit. Okay. Okay, 
approaching docking and we have docked. Great. All right. So now we shall Okay. So that and that. Oops. That and that and this won't take too long. And that and that and that and that out okay we are now fully fueled okay all righty have fire for safety and now we get to Final undocking until the end of the mission. Control from here. Actually, before I do that, yeah, we'll do that. Control from here. Um, let's just get away from this. here and we are too far away okay Smartass. Do it yet. Still too far away. Close enough now. Set as target. Autopilot engaged. There we go. Metro, what are you doing? Backing up. Oh. Okay. He's being safe. And let's just watch this <laughs> orbital ballet. How many kids you get? Uh, X potato sixty nine. I'm not sure what you're talking about. But I don't really talk about my personal life here. So, in, once I get this docking done, um, I'm going to take a short break, um, 
and I will but I gotta go hit the the bathroom and then I will come and demo the um, Marjorie guys please no ages in chat um, you can do it in in, in um, your whispers to yourself but let's try to keep you know this is a family friendly channel which also means that we don't talk about really personal identifiable stuff like that all right uh, I'm just trying to keep things safe around here anyway uh, so I'm gonna let this go for right now I'm not gonna I'm not going to uh, um, uh, uh, whatever you censor you now but please don't let's try to keep that back uh, so anyway and then I'll demonstrate the the mod which I've been working on which is the captain's log it's gotten I made a lot of progress not done yet but um, it was almost to the point where I was going to use it during uh, this evening stream but I was a little concerned that I that there were a couple of things which are a little iffy and I didn't want to take a chance of messing things up I have enough troubles doing this so Potato 69, forget it. Um, you're getting a 10 minute ban. Sorry, I don't like doing that. Um, and frankly, this is the first time I've had to do it to anybody in my chat. I hope I don't have to do it again tonight. Yeah, I know, Nate, and, and it, it's, it's, I'm more concerned with other people in the chat, but thank you. Marjorie, you're you're the second one. You get to get ten minute ban. Guys, when I said family friendly, I meant it. And it's obviously I got a couple of uh, kids here. So if I lose them as viewers, I lose them as viewers. It's not, it's no loss. Anyway, we are we are very rapidly approaching the docking of the rescue ship. And I think we docked. There we go. We have docked. Yay. Alrighty. So now... Okay. One thing I am going to do... <laughs> does, does the fact that kids are coming in and, and doing things like that means that I'm popular? I don't know. Anyway, so um, I need to go prograde, okay? Um, and now actually I can open all my solar panels. All right, not that I really need to worry about electric charge, but it is down to 9,000. So, um, um, you know, it'll, it'll come back up, okay? Hey, 
Okay. So anyway, um, due to the extremely low thrust of this, okay, um, let's get the vessel info. So that, okay, but these guys, actually I want to disable again, because, because of what they are, they seem to get used as rockets and under main thrust. I found this out the hard way during one of my, one of my test missions. Okay, there we go, that's that. And these guys, uh, okay, so we need to move all those up there. And that's definitely going all the way up. All right, and, okay, we don't need that, so now, Okay. Throttles off. Activate all my end. Oops. No, 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 no. That's a good thing I double checked. First off, let's F5 for safety. And that is going to go all the way on top there. Worry about those later. So, these are all the engines down here. Yep. Okay. Okay, there's a separatron, separatrons for later on. So now, um, activate the engines. They them? Uh, why didn't, oh, probably because the other thing. Oops. That's why I F5 for safety. Yeesh. F9 to recover. Okay. So... For some reason the engines aren't activating, I'll have to activate them by hand. So what I don't understand is why they want to get back. I realize that I'm not a 14 year old kid who just wants attention, but it just doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, so TWR is low, 0.14. Max acceleration, 1.3 meters per second. So what I need to do is to raise the orbit very high. Can somebody quickly tell me what the SOI is of Kerbin? So I don't have to look it up.
84 million. So basically, what I want, actually want to do is to aim for an orbit of about 80 billion meters, which is uh, 84,000 kilometers. Okay. And that way, when the right time comes for me to be able to exit orbit, I'm not going to have to waste time then getting up to speed. All right. So for mech job, I'll just do this. I'm going to do a, um, first I will do F5 for safety. Again, and I want to do an orbit. A maneuver planner. I want to change both PE and AP to Eighty-three, one, two, three. Eighty-three, oh, oh, one. Just so it doesn't get crazy. Okay. And let's see how what that would be after a time of sixty seconds. Let's make sure about this. Create the node. Oh, new periapsis cannot. We'll oh, forget that then. Um, change. Okay, so I want to change the apopsis to two, one, two, three. And it doesn't really matter where because my periapsis and my apopsis are only 600 meters apart. Uh, after a fixed time of 60 seconds. Node, it's a 800 meter per second burn. Okay. Just to make sure. Yeah, one good thing I did that because I was facing the wrong way. I was controlling from here. So. Just because I, I don't want, I want to get this taken care of. We'll do a, um, okay. It's a 20 minute burn. Oh my God. That's just to get out of orbit, get, get up there. It's 800 meters. Well, okay. I said I'd have to, I have to take a break. So for 20 minutes, what I'll, what I'll do, if I, if I do that and I time warp, um, I do a time a physics time warp as long as the system can handle it because I notice I'm getting little bits of yellow uh, flashing which means that it's on the edge then I will um, and it's probably doing that because we got two ships we have this ship and we get that ship, which is the, um, the remainder. So, I'm not worried right now about space debris. Well, in my career game, I am. Big ship is going to take time to get itself oriented. So let me do this. Um, I want to get there. OK. 
Okay. Remove all nodes. So let that continue. Once we get there, we're facing um, prograde, then I'll just set it up and go. <laughs> I remember watching um, about a year, a couple of years ago, a streamer, and he was doing a, one of these really long burns. I could never understand it at the time. Now I can. Yes, this is BioRoots. This is 1.3. Okay, 1.3, and I have, um, oh, about 50 or 60 mods installed. I'll tell you in a second. Uh, I have 75 mods installed, just to do a simple rescue mission. All right, so we want to do this. Um, 10 seconds, create and execute. Go. It's a 10 minute burn, alright, so um, I will be taking a quick break, I will be back <coughs> in a few minutes, and um, then we'll continue, alright. Well Jade, it was because I wanted to, I wanted the visuals, and I wanted to be able to make a video, and I'm streaming this. If I was doing it for by myself, I wouldn't do have half of them installed. Game volume is still high. I'll drop it again. Um, I'm talking about the spacecraft volume, or just it must it must be. So um, let me do this rather than do that. Is that better? Bio roots. Yeah. All right. So I will be back in a few minutes, and um, I will see you then. Enjoy watching a rocket thrusting to nowhere, to, to whatever. Um, whoops. Sorry about that. We'll keep this. Actually, let me do. Let me let me let me lower the volume then, if it's that bad. There you go. All right. See you in a few.
All right, I'm back. into the burn. Let me see if I can do some time warping. It's getting a little bit... I don't like the red. That's too much. Alright, so that's where we're going so far. Good. I missed that. Wait, I didn't even bother to check to see that we would miss the moons. So I'm going to be all the way out there. Maybe... Alright. So while we're doing that, let's take a look at why I'm doing this. Okay. Uh, let me explain. Um, so there's Burberry. Okay. So I'm basically going to stay in orbit around Kerbin until we are just, you know, until Burberry is somewhere around here. Okay. And at that point is when I will break out of orbit, okay, and I will accelerate or do my really long burn. See, this is a 10-minute burn to do 800 meters per second. So that burn is going to be, oh, I'm going to have to do 9, about... 18 to 19,000 meters per second. So that 10 minute burn is actually going to be 100 minutes long. So for that, given how long that is, I mean, I may decide to start, you know, start that part of the stream, get to that part of the stream and then stop so that you don't have to sit there watching for 100 minutes while the burn goes on. So I can do the burn and then continue it next week. I didn't even think about how long these burns took. This is actually one reason why I wanted to try to do this um, using chemical rockets originally. But um, you know, chemical rockets it just turned out to be too difficult. So, taking a look at the delta V in the meantime, total delta V is uh, 18 plus 21, so that's uh, almost 40,000. It's actually lower than I wanted. So it's about 39,000 delta V. That's actually a little tighter than I like. I was expecting, I thought I, I, thought I had more than that. So 39,000, 19,000. It's going to be real close. So I might need that heat shield after all. And, and also part of the issue is that I didn't... I made that mistake of the, um, on the main tanks. Uh, I'm not switching that one tank to, uh, to fuel. But we'll see. Anyway, in the meantime... When this burn is over, what I'll do is, so right now it's pulling from all tanks, and what I really want to happen is to only pull from these outer tanks, okay, so that these guys will get used up first and then I can let them go. Then I can use these to maximize the delta V. But I can't do that while the burn is going. And we have two minutes to go on the burn.
minute 55 seconds to go. Yeah, Jane, I know I do. Um, it's a learning process. Well, looks like Val is happy. Everything's going to run smoothly. actually reached okay thank you very much MacJob for messing me up ay 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 alright MacJob messed up on the maneuver Here's the SOI, and we are... Oh, God. Well, I guess the only good thing I can say about it is that we're going behind the planet. So, which means that when we when we do get get up to Burberry, we'll be able to um, yeah. Look at that. I have no idea. I said it's target. So we're going to go there, and he's going to come here. So it's going to be somewhere in the middle, right about here. Is all right. We'll live with it. So, yep, quick saves are wonderful, aren't they? But I think, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so. We're going behind, and yeah, we used a little bit more than we expected. Well, actually, not really. 
because we, we would have had to use it anyway. So, Burberry's here, we're here, we're going to meet somewhere around here, which means I'll actually be fairly close to him. And at that point, I can just do my 100 minute burn and match orbits over here. It might actually work out to be better. So what do you guys think? I also have quick saves being done by my uh, by a mod I have installed called Automated Saves. So what I'll have to do here is check life support. Life support is good, but I will, assuming I decide to do that, I will have to put it into deep freeze. Yeah, I know I'm the boss. Um, automatic saves, minute to save, max save files 15. But it's only done. Eight thirty-seven. What time? It's ten o'clock. It hasn't. It has not been working at all. Yuck. All right. So. Oh, because it stopped. Crap. Right, let me do this. Last quick save was at 1018. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to manually copy the file. Files, plural. Assistant. Okay. And I also see that the um, assistant's been saved 1003, 1006, 1018, 1020, 1014. Alright, so I have it saved. I'll continue this, and if necessary, I can always revert it. Okay, so let us warp to the SOI. That will be in five days. I love it. I love how I'm still over a biome. <laughs> okay, we have now gone solar. Oh, okay. Great. So there we go. Okay. So now, all right. Electric charge is pretty much full. All right. So now, believe it or not, in order to get to the deep freeze, the freezer, I'm going to have to go EVA. All right. So I'm pretty sure that I don't that, that it's not going to let me do a, do a transfer. Transfer. 
transfer crew from there, hotel transfer valve from there to, or maybe it will. This might internally unreachable. Okay, so, so cancel that. Escape to cancel. So, oh look! Oh, I'm about to go EVA! Amazing! Yahoo! Alright, Val, let's see what we do here. First off, let's check the life support. So we actually have 400 days of life support. Okay. Um, by the way, I think I'm using the I'm using USI life support for this. Could have used any of the others, um, but so let's go EVA. I just want to make sure, before I let go, I want to make sure where I'm going. Over there. Okay. And I have to be very careful because of the solar panels. I certainly don't want to break them. Space let go. RCS. F and board. Okay. See, this is the inside of the freezer. You can see that we're here. And again. Looking at the internal view, very nice. Should see that she's in there somewhere. There she is. Hard to see at the bottom. There's Val. Okay, so go to sleep, Val. freeze menu. Okay. So, let's freeze Val. I think, I think the guy who did this, oh, it might, it just went away. And there is our HAL KAL 9000. Okay. So, So now, we just go to sleep for a while, and what I'm going to do is, because I want, I don't want to take a chance on bypassing, okay, we're going to do this in stages. Actually, you know something, I'm, I said, I, I think that 
given how long it's going to take, what I met, what I said earlier in terms of the um, the actual burn to match orbits, I think I am going to stop this right now. <coughs> yes, Chatterer does get disabled. You're not hearing it anymore. Um, so I'm going to stop this right now. I'm going to go in and I'm going to show you the uh, captain's log, which I've been working on. And then maybe we'll come back and do a little bit more. Okay? So. Okay. We shall go to the space center. Meanwhile, back on the ground, Burberry's wife is saying, Oh my god, oh my god, when is he going to get me back? I don't do that too well, do I? Okay, so, we so shall exit this, quit to menu. Back. And quit. Really quit. Okay, so while this is loading, okay, um, well, th well, this is exiting first. Looks like it's going to crash. Um, okay, yep, it did. Not a big deal, it wasn't in the game anyway. Okay, so let me pull up uh, games and that. Captain's Log is a mod which I've been writing. Um, I was hoping to have it done in time for tonight, but obviously not. Uh, but basically, what it's going to do, when complete, is record everything that happens during a flight. It's actually going to record everything which happens on all flights, and then you'll be able to filter it. Now, last week I showed an early version of it, and it's gotten a lot more advanced. So... Let me go in and show you. All right. So this is the captain's log. And you're seeing this because I've deleted image files. So it puts up a message. Uh, it's trying to show a thumbnail here, which isn't, which isn't available. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is just hide the thumbnail. OK. So this shows the vessel. The, the time, meaning the curable time, mission time, um, meaning at what, at, at what time um, in, in the mission, what kind of situation, etc. Okay. Um, you can, as you saw, you can select which fields to display using this, using this screen. You'll also, and as you see, there are some problems which is why I'm not using it yet. Um, you can also filter. Now, normally, it shows everything. But if you activate filter, you can specify, in this particular case, see if it works. No, it didn't. Well, what it's, what's supposed to happen, and this may be because of, because of something that I changed, you'll be able to filter based on whatever situation, whatever you want here, altitude, situation, body. Um, you know, I've been busy doing, you know, working on some, some very specific things. So this is pre-launch. Let's see if that'll work. Okay. Yeah, see, if, see, for some reason, the filter isn't working now. Um, Unfortunately, so that that was when I had it working earlier. <coughs> it was pretty neat to watch it, but because um, I would make a change and it, it would immediately uh, update. Um, but let's go into here, and I'll show you how it's going to work. 
in flight. Okay. Okay. First off, let me show you. Let's go over the settings. Okay. So, overwrite pause menu in the flight scene. Well, you saw that happen, where you hit escape and instead of getting the normal pause menu, you get the captain's log. And the answer, Nate, is yes, you can. Okay. Uh, there is an export to Excel or CSV, which is the same thing. Um, so there are a whole bunch of events that it works on, it, it catches. And what these do is this says pause on when, when that particular event happens. And when it's a, when pause, it then pauses and gives you a way to type it in that entry window so you can type in your log entry. Okay. Um, it does, you, it'll take a screenshot at screen entry if you want and all of these default. It will convert that screenshot as JPEG. Um, the JPEG is smaller than uh, the, the normal screenshot, which is a PNG. Um, I also give you the option to save the PNG because it tends to be a higher quality. It'll also make a thumbnail and you can specify the thumbnail size from anywhere from 24 by 24 up to, well, not 200. And, and 200, this is the largest dimension. All right, so I'm going to leave it at 200 now so you can see what it is. Um, the filtering, you have bilinear or point filtering. Bilinear seems to work well, but if you, I'm giving you the, the ability to, uh, to change it. Over here, delay before pause for notes. So what happens is when this event happens, it's going to wait this long before giving you the notes, uh, doing the pause and the minimum time between log entries, so you don't get your logs spammed. Oh, I wonder if that's what my problem's been. Huh, okay, anyway. So, I'll accept that, close, resume flight. All right, we got this again. Yeah, I don't understand why that's, um, you notice as I'm doing this, it shows you what's current, what the current filters are. Okay. And like I said, there's a problem here. Um, uh, it's supposed to do the filtering. It's not, I was having troubles with that, with that. I thought I fixed it and then I was working on something else. So I'll get back this again. This is why I'm not releasing it. You can do a manual log entry at any time. Okay. And it gives you the vessel situation, pre-launch, what the event is in this case, manual entry. And then you can just type. Okay, you can add an image, which will let you select an image from anything in the screenshot directory. Okay, let's add that. I'm going to have to. It will eventually filter out thumbnails. Okay, um, you can add the crew to this. Now the crew is on, will, is automatically recorded anyway, although it's not being shown right now, so that when you get to the reports you'll be able to get them printed out and said, okay. And okay. All right, now let's take a look at the, at the log. And what I want to do is I want to, I want to show you the thumbnail. And that's what's going to happen. Now it actually took three of them for some reason. I'm not, again, there are the, it's, I'm working on one thing and other areas get ignored, but you can see how the thumbnail gets shown. Okay. Um, so the thumb, this, this is the largest thumbnail that you can get. Now the reason that the thumbnail is configurable is that uh, eventually, notice the save button, and I think these may move. Okay. But when you hit save, you can save as CSV. There you go, Nate. Okay. Um, and then you can put it test one, and then you export, and then it'll, it'll export. Um, now, I haven't quite, th this is one of the areas I'm working on. I haven't quite decided yet whether this will export selected things or everything, okay? <coughs> you can also do a save as HTML file. And then you get to select an HTML template. These haven't been made yet. Okay. But right now, and again, you know, 
it's showing me the directory name. I don't want that. Um, but right now I have uh, I'm, I'm, I have detailed with full size images, detailed with thumbnails, detailed no images. So I think so far that the templates will you'll be able to define your own templates because it's pulling these things from a directory. Each one of these is a directory or a folder. And there's going to be three probably files, a header, a, um, a, a template for the header, a template for uh, a log entry, which will obviously get repeated for all the log entries, and then a template for the footer. Okay. So in there, you can, you'll be able to specify what fields you want to display. Okay. Um, oh, right, because it's very interesting. That's a boo-boo. Well, there's lots of boo-boos, but... So anyway. Um, so. Oh, nuts, what's going on? It doesn't like something here. Give me a second. It thinks I'm running out of memory. This KSP is using 7 meg? 7 gig? That doesn't make sense because... Okay. Let me just close something else then. That should help. Okay. I don't know why this one's using seven. Oh, I probably have a memory leak. I've never I've never let it sit here this long. No, I'll just let this, I'll just watch this over here. All right. So now this is what's happening. Okay. Um, when you do your launch. Okay starts and since I told it that I want I want to do it immediately so first launch okay I can, let me and I'll add the crew and okay now you see the screen flash that's where it's um, that's where it's doing the screenshot Nate you can't no you you can't include third-party DLLs what you can do, because you have to provide full source, okay? Um, there are, uh, you can include DLLs from other mods, but those mods, again, the source code for those mods have to be available. Okay, now there's nothing to prevent you and your own system from using third parties, but I cannot buy a third-party DLL and just include it here. It go, it's against the rules. Okay. So, um, I'm going to deliberately do a crash. Okay. There we go. And notice I don't have any... Okay, so I, I did the I, I got managed to get the Kerbal to EVA. So basically, said if the event happens to be vessel modified because the Kerbal is leaving. All right. And there we go, crash. And I'm not even going to bother. Okay. Okay, it's doing a lot of screenshots right now because a lot of things just happened. A lot of pieces just just blew up. So let's take a look at the log. Uh, 